Hey everybody, I am putting this video together about my Eagle Series tripod by Photo Pro because everyone's been asking me what the heck do I love so much about it and how can it be that much different than any other tripod. And as a little backstory, I have let go of my other tripods that I thought were some of the best in the industry. I've sold those, I've gotten rid of those, and I now exclusively use this Photo Pro tripod because it solves so many problems for me. So one of the first things that I love about it is how lightweight it is. This whole tripod and the gimbal head only weighs about four and a half pounds together. The gimbal head only weighs less than a pound, and yet it's rated to hold over 33 pounds. That's because of the 1000K carbon fiber that's in the tripod, and yet it's so lightweight. It also has a little hook at the bottom, so I can put my backpack here and keep it out of the mud and also use it for extra stability. So beyond the lightweightness of it, and it compacts down to about 19 inches total, so it's perfect for putting in a carry-on or lugging and traveling with it, yet it operates as a full-size tripod. So other than that, a couple of other things that I love about it. This is the shortest version. There's also one that's six inches taller. I wanted to use the shortest one so you could see in reference to me about how high it comes. I'm 5'6", so if you want the little taller one which is actually better for me then I would go with the one that's six inches taller and then there's a much taller version the things that I love about it in specific are the fact that it has a gimbal head and a ball head and I'll get into the ball head part in a minute but for gimbal head work like what you would do with wildlife photography if you're tracking birds in flight this swings all the way around 360 it also can move downward, upward, in any direction. I'm going to show you more about how it works as a ball head, but the gimbal head itself just mounts really easily like any other gimbal head, except you have so much less weight to deal with. So it's your typical Arca Swiss type mount and your, your camera with a foot mounts right here. And then you can swivel it around in any direction. You can also flip it if you're left-handed. Um, I love this gimbal head as well because you can fold it all the way down and I'll show you that in a minute and it's perfect for traveling to get even more compact. Uh, the other things that I love about it is I can take this gimbal head and I can remove my camera and I can put another lens on my camera. So now I have my short lens on that doesn't have a foot. Normally, if you're using a gimbal head, you'd have to take the whole thing off, which you can do, but you'd have to take the whole thing off and switch it out for a ball head because gimbal heads don't work well for short lens work. They're better for long lenses with feet and wildlife photography. But in this case, all I need is this type of a side L bracket on my camera, and I can use this as a ball head as well. So I'm gonna take this off. And now this is the only thing I have to carry with me. I don't have to have an extra ball head, nor a fluid head, which I'll get into that in a minute as well. So I can put that in my pocket. And then I can just mount this like so. And this also has a double locking mechanism. So if you've ever had a situation where you or a friend has had their camera or lens fall off of a tripod or gimbal head, it's because these are loose. There's actually an extra double locking mechanism. You have to push this button in before it'll loosen enough to remove that. So that's an extra protection thing for you. So now I have it on as a short lens, right? So when I am using this, I can tighten this down a little bit and there's incremental clicks so if you're doing a multi-series panel, you can feel the clicks and understand how far your camera is moving. I loosen this up a little bit more and it's fluid. I also have, and I didn't bring it today, but there is an arm that you can use to extend. So if you're doing videography, this works as a fluid head and it gives you that nice tension without too much so you don't get any stuttering when you're moving. So now that I have this as a ball head, one of the things that I love is I can push this button back here and I can make this go all the way up or I can push it so that it goes 45 degrees, or I can move this in any range that I want to by tightening or loosening those two knobs. So there's 45 degrees. So if you're doing night photography, you know you have an even place. If you're doing even panos at night photography, you have a known 45 degree angle. And then I can put it down at zero. But I also can push this 
So it goes completely straight down and you can point to the ground. So I love that when I'm in the middle of doing something for wildlife photography and I have my long lens, but then I all of a sudden decide there's a perfect opportunity for landscapes and I need to switch to a short lens. I don't have to unscrew this and worry about stripping the threads, carry an extra ball head with me, put it back on and all of that, and then find a place for the gimbal head. It's just right there. And again, it also works as a fluid head. And then when I'm ready to go, I can just get it back to zero. One of the other things that I love about this, I know I've gone through so many already, but there is a built-in level here. So if I take this, I'm going to just tip this forward to show you. But there's a built-in level on this tripod, so you always know what level is. However, there's one more thing that I really love, and that's that I can take this tripod, and if I'm in a hurry to get level, I don't have to sit and adjust all the legs and the height and all that and try to get level. There's a built-in leveler. So it sits on a ball, and this is a patented thing. This sits on like a ball or a bowl, and you can move your tripod around and get level instantly, and you just twist it and then you're done. So I love that for the fine-tuning that you normally would have to spend more time doing. And also, take these legs and I can pull this out and they go out to 90 degrees. There's no center column here so you don't have to worry about that hitting the ground. So now I can splay this right out on the ground or use these legs in any combination to be able to shoot maybe trickier things or things where I need low to the ground angles. So I love that as well. So that note I'm just about done but I'll show you a couple other things. These legs are really nice. They're twist block legs and I can put them all the way up and they compact down, like I said, the whole thing is about 19 inches. So I'm just loving the things with this tripod. It also comes with a metal hex wrench as opposed to some of those plastic ones that you see with other tripods. So that to me is something I really, really love. So overall, these are some of my favorite features about this tripod. It also comes with a five-year warranty, so you buy it and they'll take care of you. PhotoPro has been in Asia for about 15 years and they're now coming into the US. So if you haven't heard about them, that may be why but they make some really great stuff and I have absolutely loved it since I got it about a year ago. So anyway, those are my favorite things. You can find more at langelphotography.com where I've put a little blurb there for you and I hope you have a wonderful day and happy shooting.